the weird thing is when you talk to people from the real world, not from gaming, and you try to let them know that you don't actually like using your phone all that much. That's pretty weird in nowadays society. So like I'll call a company and I'll ask for a quote for some, you know, for some work. And I'll be like, can you email or SMS me? And they're like, we'll call you when we know more. I'm like, calling though? First of all, I'm callable at weird times. And secondly, I don't really like picking up the phone all that much in general. Help. So my phone's always on D&D. We're actually really weak, level one. Should have focused on that. I hate phone calls. Who has their phone sounds on in 23? My phone's always muted and I had to only start play single players. <laughs> yeah. Me too, just text to be done with it, talker weirdos. Yeah. And like, even if I tell a company that I am not to be phone called, They'll still try, every time. By your hand, we will survive. I'm like, you can call me between 2 and 4 p.m. That's it. They'll call at 9 a.m. Ouch. They think you dead. Strike soon. Man, our draft is like such a joke compared to theirs, actually. Lucio. I'm ready once more. We just can't do anything. Anytime they come, we have to give them everything. It's really boring to play early game. And they should never give up that advantage. Uh, Cassia is a bit like Techies. She has this arm. And it's a bit like. Well, like what? She's like a Techies without mines, but short range. Techies, Bristleback. I don't know if there's anything else that she's like. I don't think we... Oh, so Cassia actually kind of has a unique mechanic where she has to keep moving and then she'll permanently have 30% damage reduction from all sources. Consider it very lucky if we're allowed to have half the temples. The best healers on this map are Rhaegar for wave clear and Lucio for speed. Taronda is among the. Well, she, her vision is useful, but she has no wave clear. I'm gonna avoid all fights because uh, I don't see what we can do. I'm just gonna go like split push style. Feels like a go next. Blaze wave clears like three times as fast as Varian, so he's able to join 
enemy team for like five man rotations, but Varian never can because he doesn't clear as fast. So that's how we lose on the offlane. And then the healer, Taronda gives the whole team massive move. Uh, Lucio gives the whole team massive movement speed. Taronda does give vision. But it's usually not that hard to figure out where people are. So the vision doesn't feel that valuable. I shall purge the land of the shadow. On this map. It's usually like an obvious thing to do. Keep up the fight. I need help. Yeah, they saw four coming bots, so they get a free team fight with ults if we give it to them. Um, should I just do ball lightning anyway? They have so many counters to it. But they also have high five against uh, Valkyrie. So that feels kind of bad too. I'll be with you. He's clueless about the rotation. He should just let me die. I got half a fort, which is the same thing they got with the objective. Uh, we have stage dive. So we can play the map a bit more. Okay, good. Thought I had joined the Valkyries for a moment. March forward. The only way we win this is if they just throw. It's as simple as that. And Sky Temple, it's really hard to throw. Well, let's see. Crowd surfer, power slide through walls. I'm ready once it actually has a downside. You cannot slide into people without going through the wall. Alright, they like some throws. And the objective was pushing. So many like the Bruiser camp, anyway. We must eliminate their fort. Oh, yeah. They don't want. Yes, agreed. We need some forts with this. We must eliminate their fort. It's not good enough to take our own own camp now. I am the queen. If we get a full fort off this, that's amazing. Still behind, but... Not too bad, and the ETC has been soaking the objective. 
Just very low now. We could use some mercenaries on our side. What do I quit? just loot now. I'll be with you shortly. Could have just taken uh, the waves and bottom temple. Can I defend this? We have stage dive. I am hoofing it over. That was pretty close. Got another kill though, and now we're actually even. Your atrocities end here. ETC solo laner with smash variant tank. Yeah. <laughs> Did ETC come bot or not? Make haste. I'm returning to base camp. Like when he stage dive, he did come bot, right? The way this goes is that they can try to take boss the if they see us contesting top late, so we have to contest top as quickly as possible. I'm on my way. It's dumb to go for blades. We need... They will take boss if we take this too slow. Blaze is hard to catch. Defend here. Do they not understand that by chasing Blaze we're giving free boss? Try to like communicate via pings because I could see three steps ahead. That by not contesting the bruiser, not taking our own bruiser, and then chasing Blaze, they're gonna take boss. But they keep chasing Blaze. And now we may lose the game here. Oh, they went there? No, 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 no. They chased Blaze here instead of clearing Bruiser fast, taking Bruiser fast, and then five people go into boss. We have no voice chat, so I, I couldn't say it fast enough. I thought the pings will, they will get it. We lost the keep for no reason. down a level Keep we have to push fight. mid and bot I will join you in battle my friend we cannot contest temple no harm shall come to this world. and then the enemy will have to push our keep Let's tear apart this fort. Ah, before my might They are. Yeah. 
shit. Might be over. Should be over. They can just race towards our open core. Uh, too bad. I should be further back. Yeah, they, we can't. We can't survive this. The tornado, though? <laughs> if I could question mark now, I think actually now with Hanzo dead, they don't actually have a lot of siege damage. With Hanzo dead and ETC respawn and Varian respawn, they can't finish. Get out of the circle! Okay, why do I feel like we're gonna lose top keep? Why do I feel like we're gonna lose ETC? God, he's so fast. ETC, please. Yeah, I mean, like, when he stage dives them, it's cool and stuff, but then he needs to, like, walk back and not go keep going with 5% health. Of course, I couldn't go back anymore either. Lucio too fast. I couldn't go back because I left tanks behind me. Anyway, 3v4. It's going to be tough. ETC, come back. Does he have stage dive? Yeah. All right. Our ally is in need of assistance. We need to defend theirs rather than take ours. Our ally is in need of assistance. Oh. Defend our ally. ETC needs to ult yesterday. ETC, what the fuck? <laughs> Help them! Help them, ETC! <laughs> Thought I had joined the Valkyries for a moment. Help them. It's still 4v4 when it... Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Ah, oh. oh, they're so fast. Actually, I'm kind of fast too. We are to defend over here. Wait, what are they doing? They're all in our keep? Weird. By your hand, we will survive. Wait, what? Oh my god. How are we giving the objective? Because I overchase? They're checking boss? They're probably on their siege camp. I have ulti again. They may jump me. Lend me your aid. Do we not have time for Bruiser? I feel like we do. No, we don't. We don't have time for it. You have stolen enough of my temple's power. Return to your war heroes. Okay. 
you like Rob again? Oh. Lightning ball was uh, the right choice. But I needed like a, a bigger safe, like a bigger heal. D shield or something would be absolutely insane. D shield, ancestral healing. ETC just went into all of them and died. Yeah. He needs to play for peel. Varian is our hard engage. If they get boss, it's over. Wow. Get out, get out of the circle. Defend our ally. No, no, don't take it. Don't take it. Attack the opponent. Okay, take it, take it. Yes, take it. Of course, take it. <laughs> okay, take Yeah, take it. Obviously. Duh. Duh. <laughs> yeah, you take it. Naturally. No harm shall come to this world. Yes! Go with boss and end, yeah. We won, naturally. I never had any doubts. You're not gonna get into photo, Grubby? No, that's reserved for Varian and ETC. Easy game, obviously. I feel... I don't know how you guys feel about me or the game after a game like this, but as a streamer, as a person, I feel a lot of shame after a game like this. Because I'm like whining from the start of the game, explaining how it's unwinnable, and then we end up winning. And I did say only if they throw, and I still feel like I can hold on to that as, as the truth, and it's true, they did. But I still feel like if I had said nothing, it would be a more positive experience. They, we shouldn't have won. It should be impossible. Everything I said is still true about the map and the the wave clear and the speed and the. But, it's hot. It's Kazmadan. They let you free boss, yeah. They did let yeah. They literally handed us a boss for free. True. Like, the, that pessimism comes with experience. <laughs> no, no. I've, I've always struggled with that a bit in HOTS. Like, this doesn't come from Dota. When you play something a lot and you see, like, easy mistakes, easy losses, easy draft loss, it comes with knowledge. But even if I have it, maybe I should just not say anything. Because now when we win, I feel some shame. Even though I wasn't wrong. Yeah, I'm not omniscient. I don't know how it's going to end. Uh, anyway, we won the game. GG.